Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and happy Valentine's Day to you. If you're celebrating together, singly, alone, with your cat, with your dog, whatever you're doing, it don't matter. <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this Valentine's eye look, talking through the rest of the face, um, but it's mainly focused on my eye look today. So if you want to know how to get this look, keep on watching. So guys, let's get into this eye look. Uh, what I'm going to use today is the Nikki Tutorials X Beauty Bay Palette. Oh, P.S. I got my Valentine's nails that I did the other day. What do you think? Do you like them? I did some ombre with some hearts. And um, you can see here, really cute. I'm excited. I got some new powders, so I was playing with them. Not bad for a first attempt. Um, they're okay. Anyways, so I'm going to be using the Nikki Tutorials palette. And... I think what I want to do is I want to use, um, I'm going to show you the swatches. I want to use Bend and Snap, which is this color here. And I want to use Roxy Catan, which is this color here. And I think I want to use, do I want to use Aura? Let's see what it looks like. Probably not going to use that, it looks a bit orangey. I want to use Pride because it's a fun colour. So I'm basically going to be doing a lot of pinks today and we're going to create something quite fun. So let's see what we can do. I've already done my foundation and, ev and everything, this is already set down. I am all ready for this. So I'm going to go into Ivy. And I'm just going to apply this under my brow bone. Bend and Snap, which is a really nice pink shade. And I'm just going to apply that over my and then I actually think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a really kind of sharp brush like this, you can see against my hair. And I'm actually going to go into Slasher, which is a really dark purple. And I'm just going to kind of press that across where my eyelid creases. Sort of buffing it as I go a bit. Until you see we get that really nice kind of graduation of the two colours. Oh, bitch, that looks sickening. I like this. Again, okay, we're going to do the same on the other side. So slasher. And we're just really taking that where, the best way to explain is when your eye opens, where your eye closes, where that real crease line is. We're just going to take it there. And you really want to place it down. I like this brush because this brush is really small so I can really sort of pinpoint exactly where I want to put it. And then you can just keep blending it until you are happy with where it's all placed. And then I'm just going to go back in with the brush that I used, Bend and Snap, picking up a little bit. And I'm just applying that just on top slightly. 
just to get me some of that depth back with that, with that colour. Just a little bit. And now what I think I want to do is I want to go in with Roxy Catan, which is, what do I want to go in with Pride? Let's do Pride. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of concealer, I think, just to cut out the lid. Now, I think I might use this white concealer from Revolution. It's the Conceal and Correct. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put, I need to get a brush. Let me get a brush. So you want to take like a you want to take a nice concealer brush, one that you trust and one that you know is good, girl. So I'm just gonna take this one from Bare Minerals, and I am gonna apply some product onto my lid like that, taking the concealer brush and just sort of applying this in a neat line. Something like that. And then what you want to do is, while this is wet still, take a clean brush now, make sure it's clean. And I'm going to pick up some of the white shadow. Or oh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to pick up, get another clean brush. <laughs> and I'm going to set that with a little bit of face powder. Just so that stays in place. We don't want that to be moving around. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a flat brush, take a flat brush like this. This is a Ruby and Miller. And I'm gonna go into Pride, which is that really nice sort of shimmery pinky purple. And I'm just going to apply that on top of the white. You, can you see how the look that that's giving? Oops. It's a little bit too high. By applying that white shade down, we are giving ourselves bit of a brighter base to apply this onto, which in turn is going to give us more of the effect. Cute! So I'm just going to do the same on the other eye and then I will be back. So here we are, we've got both eyes on with the pride colour. Ooh, I like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sweep away my powder that I have set on my under eyes. And then underneath, I wanna take that dark purple color only. So I'm gonna take one of these little kind of pointy brushes and I'm just gonna go into that slasher color only. And I'm just gonna apply this along my lower lash line. And I'm gonna do so. I want to do something shimmery on my inner corner. So what does that look like? Mm -hmm. There's a shade in here called All In. I think I might just take that on my inner corner. Just gonna pick that up with a little really small brush. This just add a pop of shimmer to the look as well. It's just giving it a little bit more life around the eyes because it's very matte around the eyes actually. I didn't realise how matte it was. 
Should we add some glitter? I don't know. I do have, actually, some dull beauty pigment that we could add. It might make it a little bit extra and sparkly. Um, I have the, it's called Eye Candy Glitter. This is in Sherbet. So I'll just show you the colour. You can see that's the colour there. We in focus? Yes, we are. So how am I going to apply this, I wonder? Mm. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take some Fix Plus and I'll take the same kind of purple brush. I'm going to miss the brush. And I'm going to dip into this. Uh, I'm just going to apply some I just want to give the eye just a little bit more sparkle I think that looks nice does it make a difference? yeah I think it does okay so we've just done that so this is the eye look Now I'm just going to speed up the rest, I'm going to do my brows and everything off camera and then we'll come back and we'll do my bronzer, my blush and my lips. So I'll see you in a minute. One eternity later. Okay, so I've applied the rest of my face. So I'll just run through what I applied. So for highlighter, I went in with Doll Beauty Highlight and I use this shade Like a Diamond and the pink one which is called Viva. And for my bronzer... I went in with Doll Beauty again. I'm really obsessed with this. There's a review coming of this bronzer very, very soon. This is Doll Gimme Sun in Medium. And then for blush, it was the Pretty Fly from Doll Beauty as well in Dollar Day. And again, review coming on this very, very soon also. Looks like this. And then lipstick. What I have on is the Too Faced Melted Matte in It's Happening which is a really nice bright pink colour. I might add a gloss on top of this as well. I'm not quite sure. Actually, yeah, let's go in. I have this from MAC. It's called Bubble Butt, and it's from the Trolls collection. And I'm just going to apply this on top. Just gives my lips a little bit of dimension. And we're just going to finish off the eyes now. So I'm going to do a little bit of pencil liner with Lasting Drama 24 Hour Gel Liner from Maybelline. Oops, I made a bit of a mess. And I fixed the mess. <laughs> or am I the mess? I don't know. Girl! Probably a bit more of this purple under here where I just wiped it off. Perfect. And then I'll do a little bit of mascara. Um, my favourite mascara is Urban Decay Perversion. I'm just going to apply this on my eyelashes. And just got to set my face down with whatever is closest. So I don't know where my Urban Decay setting spray is. So I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1 spray. Just to set my face down. And let's dry me down. So this is the final look. What do you guys think? Did you enjoy this tutorial? Thank you so much for watching guys. I wish you a truly beautiful Valentine's Day. And until next time, I will see you all very, very soon.